Coming up on this episode of Design to the Nines, if you like Pottery Barn Easter items, then you're gonna love this episode because I am duping some of their famous and expensive items and saving you hundreds of dollars, so stay tuned. Hi, I'm Natalie with Design to the Nines, where if it has to do with the home, you're gonna find it here from DIY to interior design to just really all things home related. If this is your first time stopping by, I'd love it if you'd consider subscribing to my channel because I post weekly tutorials. I am so excited for Easter to be coming and I just love all the things on Pottery Barn, but they're really pricey. You can get the look for less without spending a fortune and people will think that you got it there all along. My first dupe is on Pottery Barn, they have these really adorable mini nest place card holders. Now I'm gonna dupe this today and what I've gotten is I found these picks at Michael's. Now in the original version, there is three eggs. You'll notice this one only has two. I was fine with it, but if you really want the three, they did have the three as an option. It just was a little bit more money and I thought, well, two is fine this one is originally four dollars but half off it was two dollars and the one with three eggs was six dollars or three dollars a piece let's get started with this one first all we're gonna do is clip off the back of this pick you're left with this really cute nest now we need something to put our name card on our place card holder so i bought um some jewelry wire and the reason why I went with the jewelry wire is this is a little bit heavier gauge but it has a prettier finish than the floral wire. If you have some heavy wire around the house go ahead and use it. You can always spray paint it if it doesn't have a pretty finish. But we're just going to clip off a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with a pin and I am going to start curling it. Grab the needle nose going to keep curling it because we're just going to make a little swirl in which that we can put the name card in and then we're going to put a little bend. Straighten that out a little bit. Okay and then we're going to see I think we're going to it looks up like about three inches and then we're simply going to just cut that off and we're left with this little curly cue. We're gonna just put a little hot glue on the bottom here. We're gonna shove it down in between the eggs and we'll hold it for a second to let it set up. And <laughs> that's really it. There, once the glue sets up, then we can put our little name card in it and we have so easily duped the Pottery Barn version. My next project, I am so, so excited about. This probably be, might be the one that I'm most excited about, which were these moss covered rabbits that they have on Pottery Barn. They are really adorable, but for 80 bucks, we can do better. So I originally found these two smaller bunnies. Um, for They were originally $7.99 at Hobby Lobby half off, or $4 a piece, and I was just going to do them, but then I found a mama bunny at Ross for $8. Now they're more about this size, the ones from Pottery Barn, but I thought, you know, even like the little ones that you could still get the same look. And on the backs of them, they had like little um, ivy growing off of it. Now. The ivy was really tiny and I couldn't find an ivy that was tiny enough that I really liked. But I found this bush at Hobby Lobby and it was $6.99 half off, so $3.50 for this bush. And I think that it will work for all of them, it will be enough. And I'm gonna start in the babies first, so I'm gonna set Mama aside for just a second. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just, um, we're just gonna cut apart this into little tiny sections. And all we're gonna do is hot glue it on. So this is gonna be another very quick project where we're gonna have massive savings. The Pottery Barn version, they had some greenery on the head and on the back and little strategic spots. So we're gonna start by gluing this on the back. Do a little dab and 
I'm gonna hide this up in the ears where you can't see very good. And we'll hold that into place for a second. And like all of these projects are a little hot glue, a little cutting, so easy. You guys can totally do this. Hold it in place for just a second. So while we're waiting for the glue to dry, why don't you let me know in the comments below what kind of projects you'd like to see me do because I do kind of a variety. They're all home centered, but I do a variety. What, what projects do you like to see the most? We'll just keep working at it until we feel like it has a, a good look and we'll keep referring to our um, Pottery Barn example. Okay, so I am done with my bunnies. I am so excited with how these turned out. They're so cute. Huge savings, okay? So like the big one would have been about $80 at Pottery Barn and this was um, less than 10. And now I'm gonna start on my last project which is some bunny burlap napkin holders. Now this is one that they used to have at Pottery Barn like last season. I still think they're cute and they have an updated version of it on their website right now that's gold. But I, for my table, I wanted the more natural version. So I've taken some burlap here. I have it left over from another project and I have some toilet paper rolls. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna measure it to one and a half inches. I'm gonna just make marks all the way around and then we're gonna connect them so we know where to cut. And then I'm just gonna take a box cutter here, a sharp one, you wanna be careful, and cut on the line. So if it's sharp, this should not be too hard. And the reason I didn't wanna do scissors was because I didn't wanna pinch it or create a crease. And so, if we can be careful, this should work out just fine. Okay, so we cut this to one and a half inches, and then we're gonna take about a two and a half inch by six inch um, piece of burlap, which I'm just gonna kind of eyeball. What you need is a little bit of overhang on each side and enough to wrap around the roll. We are going to just put some um, hot glue on the middle part of this enough about an inch and a half wide because we're gonna stick our toilet paper holder piece and glue it on very carefully in that one spot and then we'll just roll it in and then to finish it off we're gonna just put another line of glue and close that seam so it's completely glued on we'll let it up for a second and then we're gonna put hot glue on the inside rim and just roll it and put the glue in and then we're gonna tuck our unfinished edges in all right so you would never know that this was a toilet paper holder and it's completely covered in burlap now we've got to make the ears Okay, so we've got a three inch by eight and a half inch piece of burlap that we're gonna make bunny ears out of. So, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this in half lengthwise. About an inch in the middle, we're gonna do a line of glue on the edge here. And then we are going to press that down. Now, I, I've been using these pliers because I don't, I burned my fingers a couple times. So instead of burning my fingers, I'm using my pliers to kind of stick it down because the glue kind of squeezes through a little. But now that we've glued it in half lengthwise, we're gonna fold it in half the other direction and do a nice crease. And then we're gonna, right in that crease, we're gonna add some glue to glue it together. So now you can see that we've kind of got some bunny ears going, but these are rough, like square edges, and bunny ears are pointy. 
So all we're gonna do is cut just the shape of bunny ears at the top. And there you go. And then you have bunny ears and now we're gonna attach it. And I'm gonna cover up the seam with another bead of hot glue. Stick this down. You're gonna have to hold it while it sets up but it's really that easy and we're gonna be done with our little project. All the bunnies, the, the place card holders, and these napkin rings, we are getting the same kind of look, but we're saving a boatload of cash. There it is. So super cute. Hardly any money basically in my case it was free but you had to buy a little burlap it, you wouldn't need that much and it would be super cheap and we have adorable bunny napkin ring holders i am super thrilled with how everything turned out and as far as crafting goes it doesn't really get much easier than that and we've saved probably hundreds of dollars on these things you can do this too i know you can which one is your favorite and if you have a good idea for another Pottery Barn dupe, let me know down there as well. If you liked what you saw today, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more of it, consider subscribing to my channel below and turning the notifications on because I post weekly tutorials just like this one. We've got our Pottery Barn Easter dupes. We did our William Sonoma Bunny Damask plates a few episodes ago. And we have our dining room chairs that I did. And if you want to see all of those together, that will be my next episode. So stay tuned for that. We'll see you real soon.